Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech. Today in this video I am going to show how to set up and configure firewall using group policy. First of all we will know about what is firewall and how it's work. What is Windows Firewall? Every Windows OS comes with a native firewall as the basic protection against malicious programs. Windows Firewall controls the incoming and outgoing traffic from and to the local system based on the criteria defined in the rules. The criteria can be program name, protocol, port, or IP address. In a domain environment, administrator can centrally configure Windows Firewall rule using group policy. This way, the rules will be automatically applied to all targeted computers in the domain and therefore increasing the security. How to set up and configure Windows Firewall rules using group policy. In this demonstration lab, I have one Windows Server 2019 and configure Active Directory as well. And one of client machine on Windows 10. Right now I am on server machine, so let's configure Windows Firewall. Click Tools. Click Active Directory Users and Computers. Let's maximize it. Expand domain name. Now I am going to create an OU. Right click on domain name. Select new. Select organizational unit. Fill OU name. I will set our OU name is client machine. Click on OK. Click on Computer. As you can see, it will show Windows 10 client machine host name, because this machine is member of domain. Let's verify it. Go to Client Machine. Go to Run. Type CMD then press Enter. Type, Host Name, then press Enter. As you can see it will show host name CL1. Let's close command prompt, go to server machine. Move this Windows 10 client machine, right click on it. Select move. Select client machine OU, click on OK. Click client machine OU. See. Our Windows 10 machine is moved computer to client machine OU. Let's close ADUC. Click Tools. Click Group Policy Management. Expand Forest. Let's maximize it. Expand Domains. Expand Domain Name. Click Group Policy Object. Right click on it. Select New. Fill Group Policy Name. My Group Policy Name is Firewall with GPO. Let's click on OK. Right click on Firewall with GPO policy and select Edit. Expand policies under Computer Configuration. Let's maximize it. Expand Windows Settings. Expand Security Settings. Expand Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Let's click on Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Click on Windows Defender Firewall Properties. As you can see it will showing all profile, domain profile, 
Private Profile, Public Profile. Click on Domain Profile. See, Firewall State, Not Configured, click on it. Select On. Select block, under inbound connections. Select allow, under outbound connections. Click customize under settings. Firewall settings, display a notification, select yes. Unicast response. Allow Unicast response to multicast or broadcast network traffic. Allow Unicast response, select yes. Rule merging. Allow rules created by local administrator to be the merged with rules, distributed through group policy. This settings can only by using group policy. Apply local firewall roles. Select no. Apply local connection security rules. Select no. Click OK. Now click customize under logging. Uncheck the not configured, under name. This is the default path for a log file store. Uncheck not configured, under size limit. Log dropped packet, select yes. Log successful connections, I will leave as default. Click OK. Now we have to follow the same step. In private profile and in public profile. Now we have complete the configuration of Windows Firewall setting. Click on Apply. Click OK. Now it's time to create inbound firewall rule. This rule enable ICMP, ping, through the Windows Firewall with advanced security using group policy. Right click on inbound rules, and select new rule. Click on Custom. Click Next. Select All Program. Click Next again. From the protocol type, drop down list select ICMP version 4 and click Customize. If you want to limit ICMP to specific types, echo request should be allowed as a minimum. Check the All ICMP Types radio button, and click OK. Click Next. Specify the local and remote IP addresses to which this rules applies. Click on these IP addresses. Click on Add. Fill Network ID. 172.16.0.0 This is our local network ID. Click OK. Click Next. Click on Allow the Connection Radio button. Click Next. Choose what profiles the rule will apply to. I want applies rule only domain profile. So uncheck the private and public profile. Click Next. Add a meaningful name for the rule in the name. In my case I will set the rule name as Firewall Domain Rule. Click Next. Now the ICMP version 4 rule is created. Now it's time to link the firewall group policy to client machine OU. Right click on Client Machine OU. Select, Link an existing GPO. Select, Firewall with GPO. Click OK. 
As you can see firewall with GPO policy is link on client machine OU. Let's close group policy management. Let's close group policy management editor. Go to run and type. GP update. Then press enter. This command is used for updating policy. Now the policy is update. Go to client machine. This is our client machine. And I am login as domain administrator. Go to run and type. GP update. Then press enter. Our group policy updated on client machine. Go to run. Type, firewall.cpl. Then press enter. As you can see the message, for your security some settings are managed by your system administrator. Click turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. As you can see under Domain Network Settings turn on or turn off all button is gray out. Click OK. Click on Advanced Settings. Click Inbound Rules. As you can see, our firewall rules show on top. Let's close console. Go to Server Machine. Go to Run. Type CMD then press enter. Type ping space 172.16.0.2. Then press enter. As you can see our client machine is replying. This means our ICMP rule is working fine. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.